so next we are going to create the boundaries of our game as you can see right now we have this paddle and this ball but if the ball bounces it can go out of the screen so since we don't want it to go out of our screen so that is why we have to give it a boundary all over all around the screen okay so let's do that now creating the for creating the boundaries you can use anything you want you can use any sprites that you have but in this case I don't want to use any sprite I'm gonna simply use a quad game object which is a 3d game object which is a simple square or a tangle and you can use it for creating the boundaries so I'm gonna go to create 3d object and quad and as you can see this is the quad that we have okay so I'm gonna simply go ahead and while selecting the quad, I'm going to I'm going to go to its transform component. I'm going to select this gear icon, and then I'm going to select reset position. What that will do is that will position it at zero 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 so that we can further work with it. Okay. Now I'm going to select this resizing tool, this one. And then I'm gonna drag this red arrow and make it a bit small like this because we don't really need a bigger um, a bigger boundary we need a very small thin boundary that we cannot see uh, from our screen okay so next we need to make the Y length equal to our screen so while selecting the quad as you can see here we have this scale component inside transform we're gonna come to Y and I think I'm gonna make it 10 okay so as you can see now it has got fit here so then again I'm gonna select this move tool and I'm gonna position it at the end of the screen right here so that we can see a little bit of it not everything just a little bit of it okay okay fine so now as you can see its position is minus 3 so what we can do now is we can now create another quad by duplicating this and position it at positive 3 so that it gets positioned at exactly opposite position so I'm gonna right click on this quad and click on duplicate you can also press ctrl D or in Mac command D to duplicate this okay so I'm gonna press duplicate as you can see here we have another quad now while selecting the quad I'm just gonna come here and remove the minus sign now as you can see it has been positioned in plus 3 so now we have both of the squads at both end positions of our screen so next thing we need to do is we need to add the boundaries to the top and the bottom so for that also I'm gonna come to the squad right click and click on duplicate as you can see it has been duplicated so now all you need to do is drag the squad to the center and as you can see from the rotation component inside transform I'm gonna make its Z rotation 90 so now it has been rotated so that we can position it here now we can just drag it on the top and position it right here and make its scale a bit smaller as you can see it goes beyond our screens so I'm gonna make its Y scale from 8 to uh, from 10 to 8 or maybe 6 okay make it 7 I think this should be good okay so now I'm gonna again right click duplicate it and position it at exactly opposite so in the Y component I'm just gonna make it minus so that it goes at the opposite position so now we have boundaries all over all around our screen now what we need to do is we need to add colliders to these boundaries so that whenever our ball collides with these boundaries they can collide and the ball can be returned on the opposite side okay otherwise the ball will go outside if it doesn't collide with the boundaries so I'm gonna select all the quads at the same time by clicking on the first quad and by pressing shift key clicking on the last quad 
So now all the squads have been selected and as you can see in all the squads we have a mesh collider attached to it which is mainly for 3D games but since we are going to attach a 2D collider so we're gonna go ahead and delete that. So you're gonna go to this gear icon and remove component. And then I'm gonna add component physics 2D and a box collider 2D. So now as you can see a box collider 2D has been attached all over to all these game objects or all these quads. Now one more thing you can do is we can add a rigid body 2D component to all of them. So I'm gonna add component physics 2D rigid body 2D okay now if I run the game you will see that since all of them have gravity all of them will fall down but we don't want it to be affected by gravity so we're gonna make the gravity scale 0 and we're gonna check is kinematic to true is kinematic is true means it cannot be affected by physics forces that means whatever force may come this will never move this will stay still at this position okay so this is how we create the boundaries.